Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Well That Sucked. Um, I'm your host, Ian Hilton, and so, you know, I want to talk about something a little bit important to me um, that makes, um, helps me cope with life and cope with my my body and stuff. So we'll get into that, but before we get into that, it's going to be funny. Um, so I kind of want to embarrass myself. Um, hey, my buddy Chris. Sorry, buddy. But we made a video back in, like, I don't know, like 2011, 2012. And, um, <laughs> it was for his school project, or college project, uh, and it's called Buddy's Commercial, what, Buddy's, yeah, Buddy's Commercial, so, um, just letting this out right now, uh, horrible acting for me, uh, so, if you can't stand to watch it, I don't blame you, just turn the fucking podcast off, I don't blame you, bro. All right, so in this, this is my buddy Paul, long time ago, long time, long time friend, and right here, I'm basically looking at some leftovers that I left there um, in the fridge, um, and I probably left them there, oh god, probably a month ago, okay? Take two. That's my buddy Chris right there, okay? So he is acting or portraying like a person that uh, is really poor or cheap or something like that. So I don't really, really know. But he's about to do something really disgusting. Uh, but he's a funny one in this one. It's only, Trust me. I'm sorry, but we only have like 30 seconds left. I'm, try, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do it. He's gonna do it. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Ew. Hey. And just bear with me. This is my horrible acting scene. Okay, so just... Oh yeah, and back then I weighed probably back like a buck one forty five. I was skinny. I didn't ever ate. You know, I was like on that cheerleader status. It was terrible. Do you know that uh, the new buddies just opened up down the road, right? You can get fries, shakes, uh, burgers, pot high with lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, whatever you like. Yeah, any, all of it. That for just under six bucks. Really? Six bucks? Come on, I'll go. Okay. Yeah. I don't really need that. <laughs> Let's go. Stop by Buddy's Burgers and Fries and get all of this for under six dollars. Only at Buddy's. Oops, that's not what I want to click. Get out of here, you. Yeah, sorry I had to show you all that, but um, might as well just kind of embarrass myself. Anyway, so today I want to talk about why fitness and exercising is important to me and why it should be important to um, everyone, whether they don't want to exercise or like just hear me out because, you know, it's 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 my belief that you know I, I listen to Joe Rogan and his podcast and he's it's always so good and it's so like. Uh, I get a lot out of it, you know, and he was, and he always says, like, the body always needs some sort of strain and some sort of, like, sh- like, like, suffering to, to get better and, and, and to, to, um, get stronger, <clears throat> just in case, well, I mean, because your body needs it, your body needs to be active and not just be sitting around on the couch eating yo-yos and hoo-hoos and, and whatever, you know, so, you know, you know, I always take that to heart, too, you know, because I, I work out, but anyways, we're getting into that, um, so, I'll give you something about, about my background, and how, like, I learned about, 
exercising and fitness and uh, proper techniques of lifting and, and doing cardio and stuff like that. So, like, back in high school, um, I graduated in 07. I started in 2003. <coughs> Long time ago. Trust me. I know. Um, but my dad... My dad signed me up for uh, weightlifting because, you know, I was scrawny. I was like a buck 20 back then. And, uh, you know, he wanted, be, he wanted me to put on some weight and put on some some muscle and stuff like that, some strength. I was weak as shit. So, um, so I, I, he signed me up for weightlifting class. And the first day, you know, the coach comes in and, you know, he's like the head of the, the D-line and for um, – for football, call or for high school football and all that stuff like that, so he kind of knows what he's doing. He's a bigger guy, you know. He's a big guy, so he, you know, he teaches us, you know, different techniques. It's just real basic. It's nothing like that really goes into, it's it, like into depth with fitness or weightlifting or anything like that. It's just like three sets of ten, so like three sets of ten reps. You know, so you're 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 doing ten reps of every single exercise that he shows you, whether it's like bench press, um, curling, uh, squatting, and all the stuff like that. You know, it's three sets of ten. That's it, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. But you know, there, there's more to it than that. But I'm just I'm just going for my my starting stuff. So, um, you know, and back then I had no idea about protein i didn't know anything about uh supplements and what could help you um gain weight gain muscle um give you energy to work out pre-workout like back then like i didn't know crap about pre-workout i had no idea what it was you know i started drinking coffee when i was a uh, junior or senior you know so that would help me with my when, when i would go to weightlifting my buddy and i bought a cheap weight set um, that would we would use in um, in our apartment, you know, and so I just took what I learned from my coach and I just did that. I mean, it was great. It kept my strength up and stuff, whatever. But it was it was still not making me big because I wanted back then. I wanted to be huge, you know. I wanted to be like Ronnie Coleman, you know, <laughs> which I was far from. Um, uh, and 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 so you know, I didn't know anything about proper nutrition. Or, you know, um, like lean meats, vegetables, you know, fuel for, or, yeah, like, like eating for, for energy, you know, or, or anything about lean meats. So, um, but I did notice when I was in high school, I was, I was, I bought myself my first protein pack at GNC and, (coughs) you know, it, I gained probably it well, not was much because my metabolism was so high that I couldn't gain weight worth anything, you know, because it was just like I would eat something. It doesn't matter if it was big or not. I would burn it in like the next hour because I was that just like always active, always active. So, <coughs> but I <coughs> I gained a little bit from from high school and eating protein and and. And, uh, you know, sticking with it. That's the same thing, too. It's like being in high school, you were forced to go to this period, you know, and go weightlift, you know. So you just make the best of your time and go weightlift. So I was dedicated. So with that being said, you know, I learned I learned dedication. I learned that <clears throat> sticking with something that could benefit you will benefit you <clears throat> and so after that I went on to college I went to Valencia Community College back in 2008 and I went I took a, a course that was that went a little bit more in depth with different techniques your nutrition um, uh, different a lot more um, Different ways to exercise and 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 different weights and and to use that. I basically learned that you know <clears throat> progressing in your in your you know weightlifting thing uh, in your p- progression in weightlifting. Like you want to get bigger is like you have to gradually get there. You have to gradually 
uh, use bigger weights, but don't go so big to where you injure yourself, you know? So I, <clears throat> that's one of the things we learned is it also take notes on what you used last time. Say, set a goal for yourself. Say like, hey, last week I used this amount of weight. Now progress and use this amount of weight. Take notes and be like, oh, okay, so that's what I used last time. Um, now I'm going to use something heavier, but not too much heavier to where it's you're not going to get anything out of it because there's a lot of times when people get it messed up, get it wrong where – Look, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. You know, I, I was benching uh, 135, and I'm gonna jump up to 205. Now, nah, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Period. So, just, just, it takes time. Have patience, and you know, know your body. That's another thing too. Is know what your body can do with with different weights and with different uh, exercises, and what hurts. Whatever exercise you do that hurts, it just don't do it. Learn about it. Learn about the the the. Learn about that a certain exercise because possibly you could be doing something wrong, and so <clears throat> uh, do some research. Know what you're doing so you don't injure yourself. Like it could be really bad, especially if you're using heavy weight. You could really tear yourself up if if you're doing something wrong. So. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm, I'm digressing. So in college, like I said, I was learning different uh, techniques, uh, different exercises, and we had a fitness coach that they would he would teach us. Um, he would take us in the classroom two days out of the week, and he would tell us about nutrition and what you'd eat, what not to eat, what to stay away from, um, <clears throat> what can help you in progress of uh, cardio or weightlifting. So that really helped. And then, let's say, three days out of the week, we were we were – in the gym, oh, working out, and he had different exercises, different like uh, workout patterns that we would do, that we would learn, and and we could use on our own time if we wanted to, you know. Like say, uh, like uh, heavy weight. Make sure, like, if you want, if you're doing heavy weight, do lower reps but more sets <clears throat> of heavier weights. You know that that will help you progress in getting getting bigger, basically. Or if you want to stay toned and you really wanted to, if you want to keep up with cardio, you can do body weight exercises. You can do um, uh, more reps. So if you do more reps, you know you could you could your your cardio and your stamina will will jump up. So from 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 then on, from college. <coughs> I kind of took a break on working out, um, because at the time I think I was going through something uh, not good, and so I, I I really didn't have time to work out, and the 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 motivation wasn't there because uh, I was just in a dark place. But um, my goal was to join join the army. And I did, but I'm just saying, like, the back in 2013, I, I enlisted in the military as infantryman. So, back in 2012, when, like, the end of it, like, when I knew I was going to go into basic training, I signed up for a me- membership at Planet Fitness, which, which was, oh, I think my wife's home. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 